y'all. Welcome to Scrapping with Sherry. I just wanted to take a few minutes and show you some of the Full of Wonder collection that just came out from Creative Memories. It just came in my box today, but these are some of the papers. These are two matchings, and the backs of them are more of a tonal look, so it would be real easy to mix and match these. In fact, you may want two packs, so you can use the front side for the colors and then use the back side for some of your matting. But look at the papers in this collection. They're made of shades of blues and greens and purples, and man, they are pretty. This is just a beautiful collection. I know that my purple loving friends are gonna love it, and I just love blues, so I am thrilled with this. Now, I'll show you some of the stickers and the mats and things in just a minute, but I wanted to kind of run through the project recipe because I just think doing the project recipes when a new collection comes out is really fun. This is something that advisors get. I don't always share them with my people. I don't always show them or tell them about them, but they're really fun, and this one is really pretty. So I'm gonna be using the Garland's Banner Punch, and remember when you use a punch like this, you're gonna start with your paper at the little black line right here. So I'm doing that, and you just punch and slide. You slide till you've covered up the blue, and then you just keep sliding. This one punches really well. And that punch is finished. I am punching onto my paper. You can punch onto a piece of paper or onto your mat, and that makes cleanup so much easier because you can just pick it up and dump it rather than having to scoop it all in the garbage off of your desk or your table or whatever. All right, and here I got a little bit of excess. It's not a big deal. We just pull that off. And it mentioned on the directions when I was looking at them to save these little pieces right here because they make little good journaling banners. Wouldn't have thought about that, but how cute are those? So we've got that part done. That's the end of our punching. And it tells us that we need to punch them, then cut them at seven and a half. I'm gonna hang off on the cutting part of that, but I am gonna go ahead and cut the rest of this. Now this I'm gonna cut at four and a half by 12 and four and a half by 12. Now let me make sure that I've even got a nine inch piece left. It should be none, almost exactly. But I do have just a little bit of an edge that's crooked from my border punch. So I'm just gonna snip that off just to even it up. And you can see it didn't cut very much. But then when I cut this at four and a half, I should have two, two pieces the same size. And then I need my cardstock. And my cardstock tells me to cut a quarter an inch and a quarter of an inch. And those tiny little cuts like that are always easiest to cut first. So you're not dealing with holding a little tiny piece of paper while you're trying to make a little cut. And that quarter of an inch is right there on the edge of the gray mat. Then it tells me that I need four and a half by six. And I'm gonna have two of those. So let's go to four and a half. We'll go ahead and turn this and cut it at six. I'm sure these are gonna be photo mats that I may or may not use as is. And then we're gonna need two by seven and a quarter. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut this seven and a quarter because I wanna leave room to cut that circle too. So seven and a quarter. And then I'm cutting two, two inches with that length. That's an excess piece. And then I'm gonna be cutting my four and a half inch circle. And it tells me on the directions over here that that circle is the outside of the smallest pattern using the blue blade. Now, if you've got the circle maker, you could use that as well, the circle 
think it's called a circle cutter, circle maker. I can't remember right off the top of my head. But you would just put that at 4.5 to cut that. All right. So we've got all of our pieces cut. And I'm going to just go ahead and lay those out and tape them down. Now I have kind of rotated this background paper to bring a lot of my purples into the middle. I may regret that, so we'll lay it out and see how it looks first before we start taping everything. But it shows us that these dark pieces are gonna go across the top. Our banners are gonna be on that. And it told us to cut those banners, but you know, you could just have them go underneath the outside edge piece and that's fine too. And then those outside edge pieces, we could do this way or we could do them this way. Depends on what colors you want showing. I think because I've got so much purple going on, I might go with them this direction. I mean, I've got so much purple going on. I've got a lot of pattern going on is what I meant to say. So I think I'll keep these, the more tonal purples. And then these two little strips right here are gonna fit right there. And that's already a really pretty page. And that's without sticking anything down. Now they've got this circle that's coming in over on the side here. And then we've got a couple of mats and they are sized just to fit this extra space. So I'm gonna look at my pictures real quick and let's decide what we wanna put on this page. And then I'll put it all together and show you the finished product. Now my pictures are what made me think, oh, I had to use this paper. And it's really because these flowers have such pretty purples and just a hint of blue in them. I did have these pictures pre-matted from the developer so they've already got a little white edge around them and I like that. But there's so many of them. Do I need them all? Probably not. But the area where we were just had so many pretty flowers. I love the colors. And you can see the little bee there. This one might be one that I could cut down this one is also so pretty though. Maybe I need to cut these two down and make them, let's see, that's a four and a half by six. So if I made these four by fours, we can make this work. I think. Yep. And I'll have to go back and add a little white strip along the bottom or just cut the white off all the way around. I could work that both ways. I think I'll cut it off all the way around because this one I was trying to center in there. And then I can make two of these pictures actually fit on one of those mats. And that's going to help me a lot for spacing. I don't think it's going to bother me that the outside ones are matted in the white. But if it does, I'll go back and remat these. that one I really want to kind of zero in on that bee a little more so I'm going to cut this down a little bit more you know if I don't have the whole picture of all these flowers does it make a big difference in the scheme of things no but that does look a lot better now I will need to go back and mat that in white because it is really fading into that purple and we want it to pop a little bit more so let's see what else we're gonna add to this real quick. And then I'll do the grunt work. Now this particular place, we were seeing all these geese with their little babies. So let's see what some of my favorites are of these. That bird was just interesting. I love this picture. I think that is so sweet. We were also interested in these black squirrels this was when we were in Michigan. I had um, never really seen black squirrels before, so that was interesting to, to Patrick and to me. 
to see the black squirrels. I like this. And I could add that in. And maybe rather than including the black squirrel on this page, we could just leave it more with the with the birds and the flowers. And I could cut that one down and add it there. These, these babies are a little bit bigger. I kind of like the smaller ones. This one's a, one of the little bit bigger ones. I think we're good, though. I think that gets us our pictures. So, that's kind of the layout we're going for. I'm going to type all of this down, and then I'll post the picture of the completed product. Now, I do want to show you very quickly. There are some mats and embellishments. I don't really have space for the mats on here, but some of these mats would make really good titles. Um, so just keep in mind, like life is picturesque. I think that would make a really great title if I had less pictures, but I don't. But the mats are fabulous. Some tonals and some journaling boxes. The embellishments, they are beautiful. And these butterflies I'm saving because we did visit a butterfly house on this trip. So the butterflies will be for that. Epic Adventures, that's cute. This Little Moments, that's pretty, but the colors don't really work for me. In the moment, that works with the little geese. Picture Perfect, full of wonder, that's great. And that pulls the blues and the purples. So I really like that one. I'm going to be planning to use that. And then we've got our stickers. And you can see they're absolutely gorgeous. So you've seen most of the package. I'm going to take a few minutes and finish out these two pages. And then I'll post the picture of them. So you'll be able to see it completely done. I appreciate you watching along with me. If you like this new collection called Filled with Wonder, you'll want to order that. The bundle for um, Full of Wonder includes the papers, the stickers, the embellishments. It also includes the banner punch, which is great. So um, that's available until June the 14th. And you can get that online or through your local advisor. So until I see you next time, happy scrapping.